up guys styles here and today i'm going to be bringing you guys another modern warfare 3 commentary this one is a kill confirmed game on the map underground and uh this game i'm using the mk14 with uh claymores concussions uh sleight of hand i think i was using hardline at the time no i was probably using like a quick draw some shit but I, yeah i, I kind of forgot to set up this gameplay is kind of old have been saving it for a while but um you know that's how a lot of my gameplays are nowadays i just i have them all saved up on like my vault on model for three or i have them pre-recorded on my computer for uh, gameplays and the reason i haven't uploaded for a while like a week or so is because i've just been trying to get as many gameplays saved up as possible or as many videos saved up as possible to upload so I can widespread uh, uploads over a period of time. That way I can leave you guys with as much content as I possibly can provide. And I haven't really been playing uh, Xbox lately. This 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 whole weekend really, I just haven't played. Uh, Cause um, the Star Wars The Old Republic uh, weekend beta was this weekend, or one of them was. And so uh, I've been playing that mainly. And the game's wicked fun. I'm definitely gonna be playing it. Um, I'm gonna be playing in the early access thing, like, uh, cause I pre-ordered it. So I'm gonna make videos as soon as I get the game. Like, I'm just gonna start recording and recording as soon as I get the game. I'm gonna do some PVP videos and it's gonna be awesome. But uh, for now, I just have a lot of Call of Duty videos that I need to upload to YouTube. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for now. So what I wanted to talk about this game was uh, some new gaming equipment I got recently. Um, I purchased a Razer Onza Tournament Edition Xbox 360 controller from the company Razer. And they are a gaming company that's really innovative. You know, they make uh, products to... Uh, how do I put it? Make gaming easier or better for you. Um... So yeah, it's pretty cool. They they have like uh, gaming. They're more of PC uh, equipment makers and users, but uh, they actually made an Xbox 360 controller called the Razer Onza Tournament Edition. And the controller has some really cool features. Uh, first of all, the buttons are uh, electronic, I think is what they called it. And basically that means that the buttons are extremely easy to press you just like touch them and you press it it's really cool uh it doesn't it takes a lot of like uh stress off your hands and stuff it's it's a great feature um the triggers are however very different i'm a person that i only play xbox to uh play fps games and the triggers on this controller they feel like very flimsy and i'm afraid that if i if i like press them too hard I'm gonna break the triggers right off the damn controller and I, I don't know I just it feels weird like cuz I I don't press hard it, it takes nothing to press the triggers anyways but I don't know I'm just not used to it and some of the games I've been playing on Xbox recently I haven't been doing too hot because uh, I'm just trying to get used to this controller still but you know it's it's whatever I just I, I don't know, I, I gotta get used to it, um, it's a good controller though, like, there's another feature, uh, th there's actually two bumpers on each side, so there's two left bumpers and two right bumpers, and that allow, and it allows you to remap the extra bumper on each side to whatever, uh, button or whatever you want, so, like, I have the extra left bumper, my jump button, and, on Call of Duty, and my extra right bumper, my uh, knife, because I play on tactical, so I don't use the right analog stick to knife. Um, this allows me to uh, knife more than I did on tactical, and I lost a lot of like easy opportunities to knife because I played on tactical. But now with this controller, I remap the buttons, and it it's good to go, dude. It's great. Um, so yeah, that's just just a little uh, hit on the controller really good control if you have 50 bucks to get it i definitely recommend it the only thing is it takes a little bit of getting used to um so what i would do is i'd play like survival mode or something just to you know get used to the actual controller for a bit 
uh, other than the getting used to part, once you get used to it, it, it's a great advantage. Like, you don't understand how much of an advantage you have. It's, like, not even fair how the controller, like, just the way it is, it helps you so much. Um, so that's that. I also have a couple PC products for them. I have a Razer Naga Epic Mouse, which is an MMO gaming mouse for, like, World of Warcraft and stuff. I also have a Razer Anansi keyboard, and I used to have a Blackwood Ultimate, but I spilled orange juice over it, and it broke. Well, it didn't break, but the whole right side I couldn't use, so I basically couldn't use it to type. Uh, so I had to get a new keyboard, and now I have the Razer Anansi. It's amazing. Uh... And you know, if you want to go get any of these products, Razorzone.com is where you purchase them. Uh, if you have a local Best Buy nearby, they may have some Razor products on in stock. Because I know at Best Buy, they sell some of uh, Razor stuff. But like, they don't have it on, in stock all the time. So check Best Buy. You might find some stuff there uh, by Razor. If not, go to Razorzone.com. You can search. They have tons of things. I've only mentioned a couple in this video, but they have, uh, they just have a lot of, you know, interesting, really good gaming equipment. They have headsets and stuff, too. Uh, so yeah, just go check them out. This game's coming to a close, guys. Final score was 32 and 2. Unfortunately, I was in the theater mode thing, and I wasn't able to show the score, but it's whatever. Um, so yeah, 32 and 2. Pretty good game. I'll see you guys next time.